Now, that was an example of a pendulum, and there are many other kinds of pendulums that I could show you. Here's another pendulum that uh, swings back and forth, but this one is on a spring. And so not only will it swing back and forth, but if I pull it down and release it, it goes up and down. And this is something called a Wilberforce pendulum, named after Lionel Wilberforce, who was a lecture demonstrator over in England uh, around um, the turn of the century, uh, who built these gadgets and used them to demonstrate principles of motion. Now, you notice a curious thing about it. For a little while, it goes up and down, but after a while, the up and down motion stops, and it's mainly twisting, as it is now. And then as you watch, the twisting is converted back into up and down motion. Now, I have a larger example of that over here. Here's a large Wilberforce pendulum, a mass on a spring. And when we pull this one down and release it, it will do the same thing. So if you watch that, uh, the up and down motion will change into twisting motion, and the energy will go back and forth between those two kinds of motion. So watch that out of one eye.